go ahead and get started. Uh, yep, we are ready to go. So we'll go ahead and get started. We'll start with an obvious statement from Coach and then open it up to questions. So when you're ready, Coach. Yeah, just, you know, I thought um, you know, we had some some really good stretches tonight. Uh, and then we had some some breakdown stretches that those are the ones that continue to, to hurt us. Um, but tonight I thought, you know, we did a really good job taking care of the ball against a team that typically turns um, you know, programs over quite a bit. And, and I, I, the other stat that I thought was really, really important coming into tonight's game was not allowing those second shot opportunities. And we held them to seven offensive rebounds. And so, you know, that's another area that really jumped out at me. I thought, you know, we had a really good balanced attack. I thought, especially uh, in that first quarter, really moved the ball well, um, you know, just gave up good shots for great shots and had some great ball movement. But um, this was this was a big one for us. We need to get back on the winning track, and um, hopefully we can build some momentum from here. But um, certainly, still got a lot of work to do at the same time. Okay, we'll do questions. Colin O'Brien from Jeff City. Go ahead, Colin. Yeah, coach. I know winning in the SEC is not easy, but this team has gotten on the road and won three games in the league. Just what do you think that says about the the focus and and I guess determination of this team? Yeah, you know, I, I would say this. I think, you know, it's hard when you just look at our record. You think it's, um, you know, you might form some opinions, but, man, we're so close. We are right there. And uh, I think we all know how many, uh, like I said, single-digit losses we've had against some really, really good teams in the SEC. And so, again, it's just it's part of the learning process for us. It, it's hard, but, um, you know, what I told our girls the other day in the locker room, it's, it's exactly what we talked about all summer long, chop wood, carry water, and, uh, we got to stay the course. There are brighter days ahead for us. And, um, you know, every game we get under our belt, every practice we get under our belt, if we can have the, a growth mindset and really uh, embrace and learn and, and uh, take ownership versus pointing fingers and playing the victim, it's, it's going to help us down the stretch. Natalie Jones, KMIZ. Hey, Coach, congrats on the win. You know, uh, they said you a lot of the season you said you have the pieces. It's just about bringing them together. Do you feel like this is a game where you saw glimpses of maybe, you know, pieces coming together, especially with, you know, five curls in double digit point totals today? Yeah, so, well, thank you, first of all. Um, but I mean, yeah, you, you see stretches of it, but I think you've seen stretches of it in some other games, too. Right. I mean, in, in some of our close losses, I mean, we, we've strung together some some really good possessions, but uh, bottom line is it's a game of inches. It's a 40 minute game. Every possession is a big possession. Um, and I thought that happened again for us tonight. I mean, that first quarter we came out and scored 31 and then our second and, and uh, fourth quarters, you know, we just made it really, really hard on ourselves. And so to be able to maintain that, that focus and that intensity, um, you know, for 40 minutes that you, you got to have it in this league, you have to have it in the sec. And, and that's something we haven't figured out yet. Kevin Ryan's KRCG, go ahead. Congratulations, Robin, on the win. Um, you mentioned the assist. You, you had 20 today uh, as a team. I think seven players had at least two assists um, on their uh, on their um, on their, their their stat sheet today. Just to, how about the way that the chemistry was working out there when it was working on you guys for offense and the way the ball was moving? Um, that, that was really impressive. Yeah, thanks, Kevin. There was some uh, fun possessions for sure where, you know, you could have went up for it and, and, and we just made that extra pass. And and um, I think that's huge. I mean, 20 assists on, on 34 made field goals. That's That's got to be a pretty good percentage for us. And um, I, I love it when we play that way. When we're unselfish, we've got so much um, offensive firepower. And, and honestly, there's possessions where I really felt like we created shots for our teammates. You know, I think I, I, the transition in the second half, Shiv Dixon was right in front of the bench and, and she attacked that wing, getting the defense to bite. And the whole time you could just see that she was trying to get uh, Troop a shot in that corner. You know, when you're playing ball like that, um, you know, you're, you can be really hard to guard. Um, and, and again, I thought you know, we shot the ball decent, obviously 56%, 55% from the field, but we missed a lot of opportunities at that rim too. We had a lot of dumb down passes, especially in that first half that, um, you know, if we could convert it on, we could have really blew this open. But again, we'll take what we the man eater. Coach, you talked about those great stretches of play that would start the game and then the start the second half. And um, what did those runs kind of do to help your team establish a rhythm to be able to weather those Auburn runs? And then just 
how beneficial is it uh, today not having to come and use that energy to play from behind, but to really have that lead for most of the afternoon? Yeah, you make a great point there, Kyle, because we've, we've made it hard on ourselves having to come back sometimes in, in that second half. Um, but, you know, I, I just, I really did like the energy uh, coming out of the gates. I thought our entire team was really into it. Um, you know, I know that was a, with a noon tip, uh, we knew that that was going to be really important. Um, you know, just not a lot of people in the stands and, and, and on the road. And I just thought they really did a great job of pouring into each other. And, you know, that's what you got to do. It's about the front of the jersey. It's about your sister to the right and left. And, and you've got to pour into each other and, and create that kind of energy. And I thought uh, they did a great job of celebrating those plays with each other. Colin O'Brien. Coaches, I know it seems like every game, but just the consistency that Asia has been able to establish for herself. Uh, what can you say about just the effort that she brings every game? And I guess the her effort today at helping keep uh, Unique off the offensive glass a little bit. Yeah, you know, I think Asia, um, you know, she she competes. I mean, she's so passionate about the game. And, you know, she wants to be out there for 40 minutes. She always gets frustrated with me when I sub her out. Um, but bottom line is if, if you're going to compete, you know, and, and really let it all hang out, it's, it's really hard to play 40 minutes a game. And I think Asia's at her best when she's fresh. Um, you know, I thought, again, that's a kid that, that had really good minutes out there. She had some nice assists. Um, shot the ball well, rebounded really well again. I, I don't know how many double doubles that is for her in a row, but um, six double doubles. Um, and so, you know, I love the fact that she's taking more pride in her rebounding. Uh, I think that's huge for us. And, and we feel like Asia is the kind of kid that impacts the game in so many ways. I think a lot of times when, you know, you, you think of yourself as a scorer, uh, it's easy to get caught up on, on how many points you have. And, and we've really challenged her to understand that she can impact this game in so many different ways. Um, and I think she's starting to embrace that, uh, but I thought she played really well for us tonight. Colin, do you have another one? Yeah, Coach, uh, Frankie had 12 points, I think, tonight and, and didn't attempt a three. Just what can you say about, I guess, her uh, her ability to create a shot when she's not relying on that three, which is, has been a little up and down for her recently, and just her, her intelligence on the court? Yeah, she's uh, she's such a blue collar kid, isn't she? She that's a kid that absolutely leaves it all out there, and um, you know just wants it so bad. And so you know a game like this where you feel like, man, we had some opportunities to really extend it, but when you haven't had a lot of success, you start crossing a little bit. But I thought you know Frankie has has been a great leader for our team. She she understands the big picture. She understands the process. She doesn't force the action. Very unselfish player. Um, you know, tries to trying to get a little bit more assertive, uh, creating shots. Um, but you know what that kid brings to the table for us, and, and her box score is always impressive, I think. But uh, what stands out to most to me is just um, the way she impacts the, the team in so many different ways. And so, again, and, and that's a kid she can shoot that three ball anytime she wants. She puts the time in. Um, you know, I think it's kind of a fluke that she hasn't shot it very well as a as of late, but. Uh, I got nothing but extreme confidence in her in her three ball for sure. All right, Kyle Pinnell, finish this up. Yeah, Coach, I'm going to kind of build off of what Colin was asking by asking about one more player. And um, what did you think of Mama Dembele today? I know in the first half there were, I think, two straight possessions where playing full court defense, she came away with a steal that, that resulted in four points down the stretch. What did you think of her first half and her ability to – yeah, I think that's when mama's at her best. I think she set the tone for this entire game. Um, you know, she's a kid that, uh, you know, it's it, she's a freshman. Uh, she's not used to losing. This has been hard um, for her. Um, and she just, uh, she competes. And I think anytime we can get her in a full court situation um, and, and, and let her guard uh, 90 feet from the basket, uh, that plays right into her strength. And uh, I, I thought also against that pressure, I thought she did a great job. Uh, she played, what, 22 minutes and had zero turnovers against a team that uh, does a really good job of turning people over. And as a freshman, you know, that's probably pressure that you haven't seen before. And, and I thought she did a great job playing with great pace, um, you know, playing downhill when there was opportunities, creating shots for other people. But I thought Mama's game today was, was uh, outstanding and uh, did exactly what we needed her to do. Okay, that'll do it for today. Thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Robin. Hey.